Hello everyone! Today I would like to show you an interesting chart with a special effect. The Pi of Pi chart consists of two plots and is mostly used to increase visibility by transferring a part of the points from the first plot to the second one. The transferred points are summed up as others in the first plot. I would like to use this property and with the help of Visual Basic for Applications and a pivot table, drill down any segment of the first plot. As soon as a product is expanded in the pivot table, a drill down appears with the sales in the quarters. Also, the second plot gets resized as a percent of the total. Let's see how to achieve this effect. My data range shows the sales in thousands for certain products per quarter of the year 2021. Let's convert this data range to a table by clicking in it and pressing Ctrl and T together. I will also add a pivot table and drag product and quarter into the rows area and sales into the values. I need a tabular layout without any totals. I need a pivot table to sum up the sales per product. Let's right click and collapse all the products. And here are the summed up sales. Let's cut the pivot table and paste it in a different location. And add a pivot chart. I will choose Pi of Pi. Place it here. And change the title. Let's remove the grid lines. Change the color of the pie of pie chart. And add data labels. I want category names in addition to the values and new line as separator. I will make the chart bigger and choose style 5. Let's sort the products based on their sales. What a pie of pie chart does is it transfers a number of products to a second plot. At the same time, it sums them up as others in the first plot. In this case, products 2 and 4 got transferred to the second plot as the last two products in the table. By right-clicking on the chart and going to Format Data Series, we can get several options for modifying the chart. The series can be split by position, and the value indicates the number of products 
from the bottom of the table that should be transferred to the second plot. If I increase it to 3, then an additional product, number 3, gets transferred to the second plot. The series can also be split by value. For example, I can choose to transfer all products with sales in thousands less than 70. I can also choose percentage value as an alternative. And the last option is custom. This one allows to select a data point to move between plots manually. The custom option will be interesting for us today. To use it manually, I need to select a data point, for example, product 1, and decide if it belongs to the first plot or the second plot. If I choose second plot, then product 1 will get transferred to the second plot. I can also regulate point explosion gap width and second plot size for better visibility. I can either make it smaller or larger. The values range from 5 to 200%. The effect that I would like to achieve is a drill down of each product according to the sales in the quarters. But the PyPy pie chart will only allow me to do this for the last product in the table. So if I show the quarters for product 4, choose to split series by position and increase the number to 4, then these four quarters will be shown in the second plot as a drill down. But I can do this only for the last product, and I want this effect for any of the products in the table. Also, I would like the second plot to resize itself automatically. In order to achieve this, I will need some Visual Basic for applications. I need a macro that will get triggered every time that a product gets expanded in the pivot table to show the quarters. This macro will have to be embedded into the sheet itself. So let's open the Visual Basic Editor with the key combination Alt and F11. Choose the appropriate sheet where the pivot table is and start writing the macro. I will start with specifying Option Explicit. This means that all used variables have to be declared explicitly. That way, Visual Basic will control that I don't type any variable names wrong, or it will show a compilation error during code execution. I need an event to get triggered when the pivot table gets updated. Let me choose Worksheet, and I will choose Pivot Table Update Event. Let's declare the variables. Pie chart is going to be the chart that we're working on. And pie group is going to be its chart group. A chart group is a group of similar series, for example, line chart group or pie chart group. Pi series is going to be the series i is going to be the integer that i will use for looping through the points of the chart sum values is going to be the sum of the values of the points declared as double because it may be a decimal Categories will be the array of the category names and is declared as a variant because it's an array. And point values is going to be the array of the values of the points. So also as variant. 
Let's define the variables and set the pie chart to be chart 4 on the active sheet. Pi group will be its first chart group. Pi series is going to be series one of the pi chart. Categories are going to be the x values of pi series. So categories are the category names that would usually appear on the x axis. Point values are the values of pi series. In the initial stage before the loop, some values has to equal zero. This will clear its value. Now I can start transferring the points to the second plot. The pi group is going to be split by custom split. And I will start the loop. For i from 1 to pi series points count, meaning from 1 to the number of points in the chart. Now I'll specify the condition for transferring the points to a second plot. If the equivalent category contains QRT with a full stop, then The equivalent point has to be transferred to the secondary plot. So equals to 1 means true. And some values has to equal its previous value added with the value of the point i. Else, the point should not be transferred to the second plot. So equals to zero. And if, Next i. The part of the code that I'm going to show now is optional and necessary for resizing the second plot. So if you would like your second plot to be constant in size, then you can skip the next part. I'm going to reassign the point values The reason is because there's a double count of the transferred points under others in the first plot. The chart gets updated after transferring the points, 
so I need the array of new values. If some values does not equal to zero, then the second plot size, and please note that second plot size is used with a pie group, equals the percentage of some values to the sum of all values minus, to account for the double count, some values. Else, the second plot size has to equal 5. 5% 5 is the smallest number that I can specify. And if, and the end of the macro. I'm going to indent the code for better visibility. And now we can test. If I expand product one, then its quarters will be transferred to the second plot. If no products are expanded, then the second plot turns to a dot. If I expand product 5, then squatters get transferred, and the second plot gets resized automatically. I can also sort the quarters based on sales. If you would like to use this code, then please adapt the highlighted lines to your own file. You may need to change the name of the sheet, the number of the chart, the number of chart group and series. You may also need to change the text in the quotation marks. So if I type like and text between asterisks in quotation marks, this means contains. Also, the macro needs to be embedded into the sheet on which the pivot table is. If you like this video, please like and subscribe for more practical spreadsheet solutions.